hopefully this can be a, a good start uh, for a permanent ceasefire uh, where we can rebuild Gaza together with the support of the rest of the world, releasing all of our women and children prisoners from Israeli prisons is very important. However, I'm a little bit pessimistic regarding a few items. Uh, for example, um, we are not clear right now if people from the south can travel back to the north. It is not clear what kind of aid and the quantities and the quality will be allowed through Rafah border. Also, we are not sure about where the Israeli military will continue to exist, if they will continue to bother the people on the ground, in the streets, especially in the north and in Gaza City. Uh, we hope that uh, uh, the, the terms and the, and the conditions for the next four days will be uh, committed to by the Israeli side. Uh, I think there will be a, a release of a few uh, detainees every day to ensure that the Israelis uh, remain, uh, commit to whatever they said uh, during this uh, truce or this ceasefire. As a citizen, and this is the tongue of most of the Gazans, uh, we don't uh, need or we don't hope just a ceasefire for a few days. We need to end this crisis, this genocide, this war. This is what the hope of most of the Gazans now. What is very dangerous is after the war, the, the, the second day of the stopping war, uh, I think that hundreds of thousands of people will think to go out of Gaza. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.